You're inconsistent. Why? Yo, and I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to the listeners, Bloggy. <laughs> I was directing my vision down the camera. But we're going to roll with this intro. I was going to say, you're inconsistent. You can't keep to a schedule. You can't do a podcast weekly. You've been drinking too much. You're too fat. You don't spend enough time with your daughter. <laughs> Welcome back to the Motors Podcast, where we project our insecurities onto you and make you feel bad for my fuck ups. <laughs> um, hi, Motors Podcast. We're doing this properly. Giles, William, Campbell, Longley, Giles, Mertz on Instagram, Keelan, Jack, Ryan, my glorious co host, talented, beautiful, talented, <laughs> athlete, <laughs> filmmaker, everything, delightful. And then there's Bloggy behind the camera. Poor Bloggy. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I would like to point out a bloggy doesn't want the camera on him this morning. We uh, There is a camera facing him, but he doesn't want it on him. Just, I can't. It's just a... I'm going to put it on for a second. Bloggy's a horrific, button boy. It's just a horrific angle. It does make you look like you're in a very small little holding cell. <laughs> like, I feel like I'm in a box. I feel like all overexposed. Like I've got like a thick brow. I, I mean... That's just how you Yeah, you, <laughs> you having a thick brow is just you I having have, a... I have eyebrow. Anyway. Yeah, you have got... You've got some <laughs> dench eyebrows. Ooh, I said dench. Um, Keelan asked me to do this. In this episode, we are going to be talking about our... Hall Basically, we haven't done one in over a month because we're terrible. And we get messages all the time. You know, I turned on order notes for the Black Friday sale. Like, people are going to leave a note because we were potentially going to do that idea that we never actually did when we're doing the live streams, like, oh, I'll leave a blah, blah, blah. Uh, and we got so many messages, really nice messages. People saying things like swag and other, th why is my torch on? Yeah, I know. Oh. Um, swag, love from Lithuania and things like that. And then many, many people saying, where's the podcast? Nice. So here it is. Um, Don't know why you've missed it. Yeah. We're going to talk about the Halloween jam, bloggy's fingers, some other stuff, collabs, fallen design capture, fallen design project, Design company. Yep. yep. Uh, Hazel, Capstone, Justin Louie, Black Friday, Pasha's new clothing line, The Rennes Gym, and probably just, you know, fecal matter and other stuff. Did you already say the upcoming collaborations that we can't fully talk about what we can hint at? Well, I said collabs. Oh, you did. So. Okay. Sorry. Yeah. I trailed off a little bit mentally. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck's That's sake. just what people do when they listen to this podcast. But I don't think it is. I think we've got an engaged listener base. Oh, it's just God. we we trail off. Thank you for the coffee, whoever made this, by the way. Bloggy. No, I, I only made yours and then Bloggy made mine and his. We're things. still looking for a coffee sponsor. If somebody, a coffee brand wants to sponsor this. And or get a coffee machine brand. Or a coffee machine, yeah. That'd be great. Anything um, like that. Let's, should we just fucking jump into it before we start talking about coffee for like six hours? All right. Well, I don't have any, I don't really know what I'm going to say. Keelan just wants to get straight to business and ruin the fluff. Um, all right, go on then. Well, that's what I mean. I don't know. What, what do they want to know? We did a Halloween jam. No one dressed up. I mean, yeah. we, we were going to host a Halloween jam, right? And then uh, it was a good fucking event, except we had a little skill competition and within, you know. Don't, don't, it, don't act like you broke your finger in the skill competition. No. No. I'm not doing acting like that. You were like, we had a skill competition we and I was winning no, and no, no, I dived Charles. to save a small child. Charles, is there any incentive to do that? <laughs> like, oh, no, no, I'm going to lean skill fully challenges. into the fact that it was completely idiotic. Um, we had no. a skill competition. Don't do your... Do, don't, come on, don't, don't put yourself Let up Let me here. talk. Shut up. <laughs> right, so we had a skill competition and we were setting some challenges that were meant to be spooky. So not crazy difficult, but a little bit weird. And I uh, just hit my hand on a wall doing a skill ch challenge. Literally really not even hard. a worthy challenge, but I'm actually gonna switch it back to me now for this one. Cause right now my little finger joint right here, there's a Is scar. that you breathing? Sorry. Is that Keelan's breathing? I can hear Keelan go. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> just, oh, that was really boring bloggy, shut up. Um, there's a screw in my hand, so I can't fully train right now. And I can kind of, there's a video on YouTube if you want to check yeah, it out. Yeah, most people yeah. listening have probably seen the video. But, but if, you, um, if you haven't, you just just look for the one that's in the, yeah, in the gym. Really I was having a poo and my phone started going off and I was like, oh no. And then I saw your message come up and I'm like yeah. mid wipe. There we go. I got the poo top again. Yay. Yeah. Uh, and uh, yeah, you're, you were like, bloggy's injured. He needs to go to the hospital. I'm like, fuck. This is like, what? 
an hour before the jam starts. You yeah, guys literally. are finally. Mm. And then you thought it was dislocated. Well, Nico thought it was dislocated. You're, you're, a few of us did. Your I, finger I knuckle was. was just in. Mm. It was so in. And he was going to relocate it, or he thought he could be able to. The only thing that stopped him, he said, he was like, ah, oh, if it was any of the other fingers, you can just relocate it. But the little one is the only one that's like a bit weird to relocate. Mm. So he was like, not Imagine very confident. Imagine if he tried. Well, that would have been the worst. The x-ray is in the video, right? Yeah. Because I mean, you, you would have just fucking pulled the bone around. You just, absolutely oh. shattered it. Like, I yeah. mean, there's already fragments still floating around. So, so yeah, it's, impressive. It's one of those classic, like, plyo, smack your hands. On the wall you, next you know, to you, when, yeah. when you're swinging your arms as hard as you can so you can jump, well, wasn't even as, that, that's what's frightening is that it wasn't even as hard as you can because no. if it wasn't a very big jump, it was just getting over the bar, wasn't it? It yeah. wasn't worthy of the injury. Yeah, that is, that's <laughs> an annoying, that's, but I'd say most parkour it. injuries are. Unfortunately, yeah. the like think about just I so many people like Travis wrecked his foot doing that. Like, wait, well, I think he had what preliminary previous injuries before that. Yeah. He did what Kong front a Rimax or double, but just no, la he, it was just landing on the did, floor. Like, he, yeah, I think fuck. Did he do cat pass one eighty? Ah, four? that was it. Yeah, but like it's it, it's just not a bail. That's, yeah, that's he didn't land on the back always of his happen head. On those, just, no, it's yeah. just like under rotation or something, and then your ankle's in a weird position. But yeah, that's very sad. Yeah, but yeah, we had a jam um, in Leuven. Everyone was meant to dress up. Ten percent did. Yeah, it was, was it was scarier at the beginning because there was just no one in sight. That I'm just glad I didn't all. do full makeup and dress like Sonic. Like Rachel. Yeah. <laughs> Five. Oof. I was just wearing some trousers that made me look like an alien. Yeah. Uh -huh. uh, and you were wearing a dress, which isn't far from normal anyway. So. Yeah, no, it was fun. Bloggy was wearing a hospital gown. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to be joining Keelan. Though, it's actually tragic. Yeah. Bloggy missed the entire thing. It was the fucking... whole first day. But um, uh, Martin very kindly sat with me, which was good. Yeah, and you did maths puzzles. Maths puzzles. Yeah, it was great, man. I know so many <laughs> new games now. <laughs> maths puzzles. Nice. Uh, but yeah, thank you, you came to that. We'd we'd want to do more jams and we we always say like, oh, we should do one a month. We should do them outside. And then almost a bit like this podcast, we just seem to be really bad at actually yeah, doing it. But the days go by so quick. Mainly because you wake up so late. Yeah. I'd say. Not it's quite true. Robbie standards, but you do. But we stay up late doing lots of important stuff. That's mm, the thing. Very playing, much. Playing free games on the, on the, I almost said Twitch on the Switch. Yeah. Nah, yeah. not anymore. It's important. We've what leveled up to the Xbox. Ah, uh, what'd you play last uh, night? Um, we put Asphalt on the fucking Xbox. It's on there as well. Really? Yeah. What, free as well? Yeah. Nice. It's not as good, actually, I think. I don't know. Only Asphalt. One Asphalt. Asphalt. Um, yeah, no one cares yeah, um, about Asphalt. But the jam was fun. Yes. Yeah, it was good. It, It'd be nice to do more just to see what it'll be like in different ja uh, different gyms and and there's just I like place. going to events because there's so many fucking crazy talented people that you're not necessarily aware of because some of them just don't post that much or whatever yeah, like yeah. you kind of think Instagram <laughs> is like the be all and end all and then you go to a gym where you get these little microcosm communities and you're like oh my god yeah like why has this guy not got as many followers as someone else mm -hmm. if if it, if it was based on sheer talent yeah which it isn't it's kind of obviously not. Um, also, just nice to hang out with Nico. Always the world's nicest man. <laughs> Literally, super nice, like super nice, and all the extent, like you know, as part of the circles that he operates in. We say Nico, but we mean like yeah, those yeah. People. But he is in the upper echelon of of <laughs> niceness. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Like him, Philip from Air Whip. Mm. Those are two people who are just just energy and niceness and lovely, lovely people. If you're not in that list of those two people, then you're a scumbag, as far as I'm aware. What, like, all, all of us? us? Yeah. Mm. Well, in comparison. <laughs> fuck. It's like you're in the presence of somebody who's moderately angelic. Yeah. Like, he's a little bit younger than me. <laughs> can, yeah, just shut the fuck up, John. <laughs> what? What? I'm just saying he's fucking lovely. Yeah, no, he is the best type of person, I suppose. Yeah. Did you not find the, um, the thing for the front of the table? Can they see our legs? Nope. Can you see our legs? No, no, it's. Can you see my feet? Oh, okay, you can see your foot, yes. Oh, okay. Wearing, That's beer, right. wearing Sorry, big, people thick who, shoes. I feel bad for people who don't. Well, because they're normal, but people who don't watch the podcast, because we end up talking about the angles and what they can see, but there's a lot of people who just. Yeah, and you said that, like, Callum said that he didn't like that, but I listened to a Star podcast recently and it was filled with many awkward pauses and Phil eating his dinner. <laughs> I'd rather hear about <laughs> Phil eating his dinner. Yeah. <laughs> so. 
I'd love to watch that instead of hit listen to it, you know? I think it'd be much better. <laughs> well, you got to sign up to join. Go on. Oh, wait, what? If the you what? sign up to Star Wars Join, you can watch their podcast. I didn't know oh, that. Is that the only way you can watch them? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know there that. you go. That's... All right. Yeah. Um, come on, keep it rolling. Podcast master. I'm not, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, we've been doing collabs for a long time now, I feel like. Well, we kind of unofficially, well, we've now basically made them slightly more official. Yeah. We've been trying to do more collaborations. And then this last few months, it was like, cool, we're going to, mainly because we kind of found the software and built a system around it so that now it's like, we can do it mm. and then actually pay the people in a really cool way mm. rather than just going, here's a bit of money up front and do some designs. It's so, so much better. I it's really so like it. I think it's awesome. It's a slightly harder pitch. I mean, everyone we've spoken to so far has been really responsive of it, mm. but it's a it's a slightly harder thing to say, hey, we'd love to work with you. Like rather, cause the, so here's the thing. I think, I don't know whether we said this on the last podcast, I've said it on my own little thing that mm. I've been doing, um, but a lot of like parkour, cause right now we're trying to work with artistic people from within the parkour community to work together on clothing capsules and other little projects that sort of you'll see more and more as time goes on. A lot of people are like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll put in hours and hours and hours of work and charge a hundred quid or whatever. And it's like, that's great for us, but also feels wrong. And then other times people are like, oh, here's a design, 250 quid. And you're like, okay, like I want to pay you because it seems fair to pay you a proper amount. Not necessarily as good for us because, uh, well, and then in turn, it seems to be those ones that sometimes don't sell as well. And you're like, oh, well, that was a big investment into uh, a design that maybe didn't do as well. So we've, we've basically devised this system where we, we pay out per order a percentage and we, we kind of work out a, a cut um, and I mean, we, we just recently dropped one with Charlie from Fallen Design Company, which people fucking loved. We loved. It's gone down really, really well. And like, we've paid him significantly more than if he had just invoiced us normally. And he's already now working on more stuff because it's like, cool, we've now developed a relationship and we've shone more light on him because he's a sick designer. And we obviously, we got Spiffy, we got other people. Spiffy's actually the last guy that we haven't switched over. Like moving <coughs> forward, we'll switch him over to this system but the stuff we did with him previously wasn't under this same system uh and if we had if we'd done that for the that initial stuff the screen printer stuff it definitely would have benefited him more i think so i want to move him over to that mm. uh but it feels good and then we obviously released hazel yeah which was pr basically another collab if you think about it with the clothing but uh i suppose it's so. it was in we produced a bit it different we produced it well not really not really to be honest I hosted it we uh, just hosted it mm, yeah, yeah e ethan i didn't realize uh until i read chappie's blog that ethan had been filming hazel initially as extra footage for soul yeah because you remember obviously actually i completely forgot about that yeah because we were gonna with soul it when we got back we were like this is just not it's not enough, enough parkour. parkour. And then we all, me and Mark, that means me and Mark still have some clips that are just somewhere on the hard drive. Ooh. Um, but yeah, we all started just filming extra bits just to basically add on to it or something like that. And, and Ethan was one of the first ones to just like get straight into it. Yeah. He was like, yeah, I've already been filming. And he was sending me some stuff quite early on. And then when I told him that like we weren't doing that anymore, he just carried on, I think. Yeah. Just kept filming, just met Which is great because like that, this the best video of Ethan that exists now. It's so sick. Yeah, it's gone down really, really well as well. Mm. I think initially it like it had an initial big wave of support from people who kind of know him and his scene and things like that. And then it sort of some people weren't you know sold on the idea of paying whatever it is four quid for a short film. And then mm -hmm. it's sort of continued to just do like good numbers. And I think the support has like really gone up for it. Yeah. Uh, it's fucking cool movement. And then he, yeah, he designed some shirts as well, which we've been selling instead of printing on behalf of him. Um, and yeah, once again, it's like the 90% of the, the money from that film has gone straight into Ethan and Noah's pockets. We just take 10 to like cover sort of costs of all of that stuff. Mm. Uh, and it's, it's paid out like a really, really good chunk to them, which, cause they initially were gonna put it on YouTube and yes, it may have got more views, but I think, I don't know, it's cool to sort of, help be behind yeah. that push or at least this is a, this that was a cool like tester as well because i don't i can't really ever remember anything like that going out in the parkour community for sale that type of video yeah exactly so that's kind of a and i'm know. still really uncertain of like where the line is of like okay well what 
should be sold and yeah. what should be free and, and things like this. But I think that was just a cool test to go. I think th- considering like what the the movement level is in, like obviously some of it is more like creative stuff. Yeah. That isn't as risky if you're going to put like the risk factor on it. But you know, but like still, the end, some of like the ender and, and just some of the shit in there is so worth selling because those sort of things, I don't know, they're, they're not like you'd, generic go out training sort of thing yeah yeah, you know he's gone out with the mission to do that thing some of them are clearly like a lot of attempts yeah exactly to get it good which is like also fucking sick on noah for just sticking through sticking through the whole project and yeah getting the whole thing filmed and edited origins um tom and renee did a podcast talking a lot about it and they they sort of actually it was um renee and as when we went to lease Origins. Oh, Origins. Is origins. Parkour. We did a podcast is about it Nathan, Origins. Nathan. Yeah, Ma- Ma- they did a podcast about Hazel. Yeah, yeah, and they were they were just discussed some really nice stuff that like they just said some really kind things basically, and mm. they really liked the fact that it, I, I kind of I, I guess I just hadn't really thought about it, but a lot of non spots. Oh Ethan, yeah, because like, I think I just go, wow, Ethan's a beast, mm. and then you kind of go, actually, he's done a shitload in he, that one clip with very little. Yeah, surfaces. He, they have um because both of them are really into. That, well, they're, they're both very into video. Like they watch a lot of videos and yeah. stuff like that. So when they think about spots and things, they're more thinking about like, I suppose the combination of filming and training. Do you know what I mean? They like how something looks. Yeah. And then therefore sometimes it's a bit more of a challenge to, like I've been with them where they've been like, oh, this is a sick spot. And I've kind and it's of like, like what is it? And at first you would say no but once you start looking properly it's like yeah there's loads of shit here but it's just really hard to do yeah or just really hard to come up with and then ethan puts it together yeah and then you just get such a better output really i yeah. feel like which made the video feel like really cohesive i really really like it mm. like on my initial watch and i think kind of renee and uh i think it was nathan said <laughs> the did you just elbow the thing no i smacked my head on the corner oh shit um nah. There's like some stuff in there that's a bit too artistic for my personal taste, but then mm. kind of once you realize like where the direction of the things going, you're like, okay, like yeah. you just, it, yeah, you get it. And there'll be, I know that Noah, I don't know what direction it's gonna take, but he's, before Hazel was released, but it was finished and we were in Woodward, he was showing me like half of a project that he's working on at the moment with his community. Sick. Although I think he's just moved now to Boston potentially. Oh, I yeah, could have yeah. that completely Yeah, wrong. I think he has. But he was saving clips with uh, more of Ethan and himself and then a few other people in his community but like that is just just parkour back to back Sick. but it's filmed really nicely Sick. and also all of it just looks like they put in a lot of effort i don't know when that's coming out but nice. i actually saw last that night good. i don't know if when we're putting this up and i don't know when it'll be too late but noah was selling a load of prints on what instagram because i think he's he's in Mate, the process of moving i don't know if he's lying but he said rodney mullins bought one of his prints really um fuck i wish i knew this I'm gonna need to like message him about it. And annoyingly, I'll, it will be after the podcast. I'll tell you how he he did it. But like, just through some weird connections, and I think through one of the, like, you know, where they what do you fucking call it? When, well, when they did the gallery, I think that gallery. Yeah, I'm not too sure. Maybe some connection through there. But yeah, Rodney has like, that's fucking cool. Yeah, it's fucking crazy. But yeah, that's really fucking cool. But yeah, he's. I think he's in the process of moving. So he said, oh, like, okay. I need to shift some prints and he's like selling them cheap on Instagram. So mm. North Street Boogie um, or Boogie, as we uh, yes. are unsure of. Um, but yeah, so I mean, so actually Bloggy's been working on uh, a whole load of collabs, sort of organizing them and, and managing them uh, over the last couple of months, which I think probably won't see any light of day until the start of next year, but some fucking cool stuff. Like you kind of, you and Sam just like came up with an idea and it's changed shape. Mm, yeah, it's morphed a lot, but the core of it is, is still. Yeah. Can I tell anything about it? Well, what are you comfortable with, with coming out really? I don't know. It's like, when do you start building um, the, the I mean, hype? We're collaborating with people and I'm not going to reveal who they are um, because we've got all the work in yet. <laughs> Rather than dogs and aliens. No, yeah, exactly. <laughs> but they're all part of the community and they all do things that hopefully a lot of people are aware of already. And this is just, Maybe adding a little different angle to what they typically do. Um, yeah, I and, think it's, it's really cool. Um, and seeing how they can get creative with their medium is really awesome as well. That's been the, the most, because I've kind of just let you run with this thing and been like, cool, let's see what happens. Actually, we need to get that yeah, stuff. I've got them all prepped. Yeah, um, sick. Um, 
and it's been really cool to go like I've had an idea in my head of what the end product could be and then it's like oh shit mm -hmm. that's not what I was expecting but yeah. fucking cool so exactly. and, and all weirdly different exactly because the first guy um Mr Mr uh, <laughs> what with I don't know how I can hint to this uh it doesn't matter like southwest boy uh his, his work and how he did overlays of text and stuff with that stuff definitely oh, this is too abstract for people to listen to isn't it no i don't know basically i thought it would all come out like that and then i've ha had to kind of keep everyone separate working so they are they're aware of each other except they're actually you know completely unaware of what other people are doing for work. Oh, i guess they could be and, sharing shit behind the scenes well there may be but the, none of it looks like that which is that's the awesome that's thing. like my f i because i was worried it would all look the same yeah i thought that too and we i think we're still yet to my my understanding is that we're probably going to announce this thing as we've been doing this and maybe that broader spectrum will have a name i.e yeah the and then as a, and then individual collab drops will come out as part of that thing yeah right? so we'll have a big campaign hopefully for that and then we'll kind of trickle them out you know this drop this drop just drop yeah, and yeah. then it means that they can all work together if they want to to hype up each person yeah it it and they'll get paid based on the system that we've we spoke about <laughs> it's so vague <laughs> but it's people from england europe sorry the uk europe and America, if it wasn't highly illegal, we'd talk about it. Yeah, so we're, we're under massive over. contracts. It's yeah. the same reason as why this podcast has been so delayed is we've been signing paperwork with Spotify to get exclusive rights and you know. Royalties. For every one yeah. view, we get four pounds. Imagine. We'd have like 20 quid. <laughs> um, <laughs> but yeah, so that's really fun. And that will be really cool when it comes out. Yeah. And then we can talk about and it. And then we've got other collabs in the works with just your standard designers some of which we worked for with before others not um but it's cool it's like it's a really nice way of us releasing product helping other people having more frequent releases and smaller drops which i think works for us because rather than like huge collections and at the same time i'm sure people are sort of somewhat aware or, or curious we're still working dealing with factories all of bloggy stuff like I think we're this is a bit closer though. Oh, we're getting a lot closer. closer. I'm starting to sort of get excitedly confident, uh, maybe naively confident, but I'm not in you in just the, yeah, the, no. <laughs> the supply chain. Yeah. Um, but the, the, I think we've said this before, but the thing that uh, some people get confused about is like, I don't know, we release a t-shirt in collaboration with Fallen and they're like, wow, bloggy. This <laughs> construction on this mm -hmm. t-shirt is fantastic. And it's like, you, you haven't seen anything well, you haven't properly seen anything that we've been working on with Bloggy, aside from if you've seen samples or sort of little things that he does on Depop. But yeah. you haven't you haven't seen the full scale of all the workshop rework stuff, liner things. But none of that is like the true Bloggy. No, that it. You'll know when it comes out because I think we'll have a bit of a rebirth of like things, you know, like yeah, a I phoenix, so. a phoenix rising from the ashes of our sort of. What will suddenly become like cool again. <laughs> That's all you I just can. moved away from Mike. You were like, cool again. <laughs> <laughs> we were, oh, we are cool. We'll become cooler. Yes. Um, speaking of brand, I don't actually know when this got announced, but Etra Fort is closing down at the end of this year. They've currently got a load of stuff on sale on discount, mm -hmm. which is pretty mad. Ten years. Yep. Uh, thoughts. How does that make you feel? I don't know. It doesn't massively surprise me. Like I think no offense to them but a portion of their product range or like the the baggy joggers were a massive hit years ago obviously and then it felt like they were slightly slow on the like the adaption front the adaption right? yeah. yeah and they've, they've they've released some really progressive stuff and they've got really good like um uh not what moral oh, yeah oh, not oh, moral ethic, but brand ethics. ethics yeah they're like we will not work with sort of blah 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 unless like they, they've got a very very transparent supply chain all the way through Portugal factories they go and visit and things like this um, I I think honestly probably their weakest point in the recent years even though their product is like good quality has maybe been their connection and community like with the with the kind of new the last couple of years it feels like the community is moving in a direction and they maybe just haven't yeah chased that so much yeah uh, and also it's like i don't know what the guy's personal situations are but they you don't have to fucking run a business forever so it's yeah. like mm. um but yeah it's interesting it's just like it's like one of the bigger 
the bigger ones to sort of publicly go, oh, we're stepping down. Yeah. So, me and Boggy were watching like old yes. Etch report. No, old not Etch report. GUP stuff. GUP. Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, it's Sergio's channel, isn't it? Yeah, Sergio oh, Steele. His, his videos were so Yeah, impactful. and it's just like everyone's wearing Etch report. Yeah. And I think they definitely helped pivot like Etch report into being like a cool aesthetic for different generations because it was, mm. it always had that. But I think definitely just how they adapted into the last like maybe five years and they didn't quite morph in the right direction because they started doing skinny jeans and then sticking with that. Whereas in parkour, it, it definitely went like super baggy and then super casual for what that was at the time. And now we're kind of getting a happy medium, hopefully. Yeah, it is, I feel it like is, it is a bit mixed. It's so mixed now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It yeah. definitely has kind of gone back to- Which is why I think that it's less to, well, it is, it, that, that's definitely a factor, but there's also just like, you know, content and connection yeah. and things that they've been doing but like if so. they remained because yeah you're right like saying they were i remember at a stage where i'm like wow they're really fucking cool like this is a cool brand yeah. because of the people kind of repping it and stuff if that was consistent all the way through and they were good at that then you would be seeing people still now in the community like wearing it and you'd be like yeah that's one of the cool yeah but trends like, are brands. Is it's it, hard to is it cyclical they go around in circles uh, it's spiralling more, isn't it? But what, so do you like reckon the baggy same, same trousers? Well, baggy I mean, baggy, trousers. baggy, big, back. big baggy trousers are about there, like in high fashion. So yeah. give it a year, and they'll probably be like, shit. <laughs> like, <laughs> suddenly, all the big old baggy extra forts will be like, people will be fucking putting them on, on yeah. Depop or whatever for I more money. Cut mine. Went to shorts. Yeah, mm. I never owned any. I I saved up for like months, and I bought a <laughs> pair that were literally a hundred and something pounds. Yeah, and I wore them all the time until they went orange. But you like, never had anyone be like, oh, I spent a hundred quid on these, their shit. They were like this, the, like I could fucking, you know, skate that like slide down sandpaper and they'd still hold together. Yeah. So, I mean, oh, yeah. here we go. My, I'm not gonna lie, the quality of mine was good, but definitely deteriorated faster than I would expect for the cost. Ah, interesting. Because they faded very quickly. Yeah. Like within Yeah, it's granted, months. I guess most of those comments I had were came from like, your normal parkour head rather than clothing yes. designer guy. That's, that's very, Critical um, bloggy. I never had a pair. Yeah, I never had a pair. I wanted a pair. Never they had anything. Like, like they were nice to train in. They had loads of funky pockets mm. and they draped really nicely. I um, did sometimes look at them and go, you could probably save 20 quid if you just didn't put as many like extras that I don't see the majority of people using. Yeah, they weren't all that useful to be honest. It was like, like Johan LaRue when he released those huge pack tra trackies and they had the pocket on the ankle for like your phone. And I remember him doing like a video and he was like, ha ha, you can put things in here. It's like no one's reaching to their fucking ankle to pull out something. Unless it's one of those like mini guns in James Bond or a <laughs> knife. Slapping your thigh, probably go off every now and then. It would not even your thigh, like your fucking ankle bone. Oh, You'd be clanging your, your, yeah. It's like scootering around and getting it on your shins. Yeah. But yeah, so that's interesting. Yeah. But yeah, so we're gonna see brands come and go, I suppose. <sighs> yep. Not us! It's, it's, it's very uh, loud. Yeah, yeah, I know. It's not, not, oh, did you say not us? Not yeah. us. Fucking hell, I, just, I thought you went, yeah. <laughs> One of Jars' classic morning things, like, I'm gonna pick you up one. now. That's been the last two days. Ah, oh, mate. I'll switch it up tomorrow. What are you gonna do tomorrow? Crash the car into the morning. Wait, I won't be here tomorrow. <laughs> oh, there you go. Basically, don't ring Bloggy tomorrow. <laughs> every morning, <laughs> I, expecting that I'd know. He'll be like, I'm in Belgium. <laughs> Every morning I pick up these guys and I, I call them as I'm driving down the high street. So they get like a minute or two warning. And the last two mornings I've just gone rah, 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 and then hung up the phone. So. Which the first time was super confusing. Yeah. yeah I should have switched it up. Uh, um, so speaking of brands, Capstone, big, mm. big, 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 impactful shit. Yeah. Swarm. Swarm. God damn. So you saw it early. You went to the premiere. I did. And. I would actually be, I haven't seen it since the release actually because I wonder how much oh, they changed. Oh, I thought you watched it the other night. No, because they were editing it. Yeah, I remember hearing the that. time it got screened. And I think they went back and edited some more. So I, I, I would imagine they did, yeah. Yeah. Um, um, I went to a fireworks night with Daisy and it was awful. Utterly awful. And you could have come. I know. If, if I'd known, I would have come. Yeah. But uh, thoughts? I reckon I want to hear from Bloggy because it's a different environment from the screening. Yeah, fair. I mean, uh, was, Actually, that's was, yeah. I you should have watched. I should have got you to watch it because just obviously, as you said, yeah, the hype when you see a screening is sick. It was it was so fucking like every single 
moment that you would watch a video and go, oh shit, but on your own kind of internally, Amplified. people were screaming yeah. at me. <laughs> ah, yeah. At one point, I think I just went, ah. Like, Lawrence is there taking his top off and pouring Stella all over himself. Basically, like, yeah. yeah. It was excellent. Um, like, it was cool to see people's reactions to things. Um, the pacing was very, uh, this is what I'd be curious to see about, like if it was that much different in terms of pacing um, for the uh, YouTube release, because it was very much like, Boom, 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 boom uh, at the screening. Um, boom, 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 boom. Does that like, make sense? Techno, techno. Yeah, as is as techno. Quite fast. Yeah, it was like uh, oh, introduction. I think I thing. think that's probably the, a big factor in that the different vibe. Yeah, I think so too. Because it, it's, I would say unanimously what I've heard and mm. also what felt is that the pacing was a lot slower. Not not a bad thing. No, no I really enjoyed it. But like, we watched it and I said to Keelan, so, like, like compared to their normal stuff, it felt like, a lot slower. Halfway through, I was like, this is quite nice because we're getting a little bit of the, like, we were conversating, conversating, talking, conversing, converse, I don't know. We were talking while watching it and not, f about, I didn't, about the, what we were watching. Yeah, but not I didn't just, really feel like, randomly I, chatting. I didn't feel like I was talking over someone's moment. Mm. No. It was like, there was enough build up and replays and things that you could kind of like have a couple of words and not feel like you need to skip back. To yeah. I reckon that's just the amount of people screaming in my ear that made it feel faster. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah. I, I personally, awesome. uh, you really liked the pace. Yeah, but I, that's just- I liked the pace for that aspect, but I did, f I, I just like to get fucked up a bit. Yeah, I was really wasted. So actually this is probably skewing it as well. Uh, there we go. Yeah. I, I, I do like an edit that kind of slaps me around a bit and I'm a bit like, Grrr. I mean, you, you, <laughs> it's, you can tell from like some of the bigger videos I've edited, they kind of don't, I, I almost like to not let people breathe unless it's very intentional. Mm. I quite like it to be like, you're still trying to recover from the thing you've just seen. And then it's like, ah, ah, ah. I actually, one of my favorite things was Tom from Origins talking about uh, resurgence, mm. and he he literally said the thing that I wanted the entire way through, and he was like, I got to the end and I felt like I had to rewatch it just to take it all yeah. in again, and I was like, that's exactly what I wanted. I need to rewatch resurgence, but I think videos I, have changed hugely. Yeah, I think resurgence though is still a good, like that kind of I think is a pacing that I like as well. Because I'd say, yeah, you are. It does kind of like keep hitting hitting you in the face. Because also there was a lot of brand new stuff in that video. But each clip has enough like screen time. Yeah. I, feel, I just feel like there's so many videos that I watch where it's like that clip didn't have enough screen time or they've cut that so early. Yeah, you cut you know? like two steps of run up followed by yeah. two steps of landing and that's it. No, no celebration. Or they filmed it like when people film it like a fucking cinema film rather than, you know, you're filming parkour at the end of the day. Yeah. So like what you did have done in the past is like mix the two together but capstone like i felt like i was watching do you know what i mean there's no i know that someone's holding a camera and filming someone do like a yeah parkour. there was something you said actually not trying to put you on the spot but there was something you said like near the end i can't remember what it was but you just kind of made not like a critique of the filming but mm. you were like you said something like oh that's one thing that i feel about the capstone film is it oh yeah what was it there was um Without being like, it's it, yeah, it's well, just, just an a, opinion. Yeah. It's just an opinion that I have, but like, I just felt like the filming was a bit like they've got these cameras that are cool. <laughs> Sounds really bad. <laughs> they've got these cameras that like essentially do look really good for that style, but they haven't been used in like in a way that supports them. It's kind of just like they're not. Um, it's kind of just like. I don't know what I said, but it. it I a bit Do you mean like, you know, when some people can utilize, because I don't think I utilize a fisheye nearly as well as some people. Was they, there they, some fisheye stuff? If no, some, not fisheye, but like wide okay. angle. Like if there's wide or fisheye, I feel like a lot of people don't film with those properly because it does distort stuff. And I'm not saying that like I can film properly with them. They're fucking but hard But some to people use. are really but good like, with it. Like the, you're the definitely way, better. The way you're meant to like move a fisheye is without moving the front of the camera. And I'm sorry for people who can't fucking see me right now. But because of how it because of how it distorts stuff, you're meant to move it from the back. So see, not, I had you're not, not meant to do this because the whole fucking world moves and it like moves everything that you're trying to. But if you're doing this, it does slightly. But you're you're like kind of looking at it like this. It's, it's that's hard to really describe. interesting. Yeah, that make that makes a but lot of sense. But there's ways of capturing action. It's not just like certain sports that make sense. And I just felt like 
because I fucking, I really like that sort of stuff and I pay attention to it. There was a lot of like sections of Capstone where I felt like, I'm sorry if uh, if they were all filmed by the like cameramen, if you want to uh, that. But I feel like it had been like given to someone to be like, oh, oh you there, know how to film. Like just, there's, I've seen behind the scenes where like Dom's filming and things. Yeah, which is like, it, yeah. There's just some of that where it was like maybe a bit too much or maybe too many angles, too many like, cuts around there was one there were a couple a couple of times um i wanted it's weird because i feel like we're just saying we're kind of critiquing it but i think it, it yeah I ultimately mean, I mean in, in like a fucking ultimately trying to, trying to pick at it yeah 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 like it well, was and also fucking just, sick yeah ultimately fucking incredible video massive yeah. etc uh one thing that i picked up on was you know dom's not dom tomato uh Fish the dom. massive Fish concrete to the rail yeah my favorite shot in the trailer well, one of them is the the drone shot where he's mm. like gunning it in. Yeah, and they played that last. They like played all the other angles and then that one. And I almost, I kind of just wanted that to be like, oh shit, like yeah. Then yeah, boom, and then obviously he like kind of gets spat out, and they replay that a few times. Mm. Um, and then I don't know. I, there were shots like that that I I was while you're watching it and it comes onto Dom's part, I was like, oh, when's that? Like, that's going to be the first shot. And I got excited. And then it wasn't that. And I was like, ah. Yeah. But his fucking part was ridiculous. It was, uh, I preferred, I th I'd have to watch it again, but I think I preferred the editing to, um, maybe to the London, the one that they did in England, the UK one. Was it just London? No, they did like It was Brighton like Bristol and, Bristol and Brighton. Yeah. Yeah. Because I remember we... I think it was me, Ethan and Noah watched through the Australia one and the London one just because I think we were bored at some point and we were like, okay, should we like try and see which one we prefer yeah. in the editing style? Trying to completely disregard movement, but trying to look at how it's filmed ed and edited. And I, in my head, I always was like, oh, obviously the London one yeah. or the, the, the UK one because of, I felt like the impact it had on me. But then I realized it was actually the Australia one that was paced better not with like maybe music taken out of it i just mean i need to yeah and i haven't watched them in that frame recently and swarm i think was also better but like i just don't like when every clip has b-roll mm. you know what i mean it's like clip b-roll b-roll celebration prep clip b-roll b-roll like all of this i kind of want so this is where i kind of i think relate with you is that i do like to see a clip and then a clip and then a clip. And, and then, then sometimes when it's then, worthy, you exactly, get Exactly, it's like suddenly, oh, what? He's prepping. It's That's like what Tom said from, in. sorry to just keep throwing back to the Origins podcast, which is really yeah. fucking good, by the way. They, they drop that consistently. Um, mm. He he was like, it felt like it could have been 12 minutes rather than 17 if you'd mm. cut some of the stuff that wasn't as needed. Yeah, and I'm sure like- But obviously that's because just- Because of how hard they pushed themselves oh, yeah, and like yeah, a lot yeah. of them got injured so like i don't know if they would have got like they well, probably when, expected to get more when you have a video like, of where ev almost everything is like for that progressive you yeah. kind of like if that was if one of those shots was in a video of average stuff you'd yeah. put a lot of focus around that one thing so it's kind of like doing that for everything what was your opinion on like the parts because part videos have definitely been becoming more and more prevalent uh, i think we maybe said that it would be interesting to see that if they didn't do it in parts because everyone had such a different sized part and some people only had like a few clips that was the thing that i It'd found be, quite jarring was like could mix it together i'm sure they, they obviously have this these conversations yeah, like yeah, we'll, ne yeah. we'll never know maybe they would have done that and we would have been like parts would have worked better but because of the short amount of parts i reckon they could have made if you look at like a parkour video, kind of like a, having a story arc and things, if you mm. treat it like that, like having, like keeping the pacing up with bangers and like still bangers, but not as-, as Yeah, good. yeah. They could have done that throughout if they mixed everyone's clips together, I think. I, I think also st structurally, it was like, Sam's part was at the start, which was fucking phenomenal. I need to rewatch it. Cause I, I've actually forgotten a lot He of did, obviously he did like the big science slide, which is grim and that's kind of been oh, talked about. Yeah. But the thing that impressed me the most Fuck. was the like, the red descendy oh, walls. He does like Kong, like slide down the side of the wall, like kind of into arm jump position immediately to the oh, thing, yeah. turn descent, he's, which like the, the- He's fucking sick. Yeah. His, his eye for stuff is so good. The, the, the so sort of good. implications of obviously missing that like slide to descent is like a two-story drop. Yeah. 
But anyway, so his his part was fucking phenomenal. Mm. And then after that, and that was only to be fair, a few there weren't that many clips in it. Mm. But then I feel I can't I need to rewatch it. But I feel like after that there was like back to back a number of parts all within the same song. There were all like three to four clips, mm. which if you had started with Sam and then gone on to like a longer piece and another longer piece and then had like a boom, boom. do you know how like Kipper did or Keeper did um their part video and then they had they had like the and friend section yeah if it had felt slightly more like that i don't think i would have found it quite as jarring mm. but it was like initially i was like holy fucking shit sam okay he's got his piece out of the way mm. and then it was like oh this person oh oh suddenly we're onto this person oh suddenly we're onto this person yeah. and then you got a few longer ones back to back mm. whereas if it had been like okay he three heavy hitters and some friends and then finish with maybe two heavy hitters or whatever it was yeah it might not have felt so jarring yeah but i just wonder whether because of the the whole thing is they're pushing themselves that hard whether they could even if it's possible to do parts that long with movement like that and th and they want capstone is all about that so and, and to not make it last two years of filming if you know what i mean yeah um, i'd love to see them try and make a project like that though yeah then I'm sure they wanted to. It's just yeah, yeah. got fucking uh, yeah. Injured. A lot of injuries. I just to go back to parts. Who were your favourite? Um, I'm gonna have to rewatch it after this, maybe, and have a little skim through or something because I just Bloggy's like trying to remember it. He's like, how many beers did I drink? <laughs> <laughs> but now that you said it, pro like I reckon Sam's probably is is my favourite. I think. Oh, I, to be honest, I did really like Drews and Benj. And just little parts. So I thought they were really cool. Mine Joe's was like all just yeah. Oh, the fuck. I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not saying pick sick. one. I'm just like standouts. Yeah. I'd say stand. I mean, to be honest, Joe's one is going to be a stand up because of how Joe, Joe's is he, it. he. He's definitely in my eyes the star of like yeah. That he's the star of that project. Project without him, it would be he would he be took it to a sick, fucking different level. Yeah, he just for me it's like Sam. Um, I can't, to be honest, I can't remember much of Benji's apart from, I've, well, I saw some clips he recently put on Instagram from that. So I'm kind of warping it. He obviously did that like cool fire hose thing as well. Yeah, really but cool. Drew fucking, I think he only had three lines, but the like- He did the cool die roll. The massive die roll, the, the Kong to pole slide thing. I know. Is just <laughs> so obscene. Horrid. It's so sick though. I don't get that. No. Like the front flip's massive, but I'm like, like obviously it's fucking huge. Mm. But but the Kong to pole slide took it for me. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah, really fucking. It grim. makes sense though. It's just fucking awful. So to yeah, um, <laughs> so scary. Joe's Dom's Dominic Fitz thingy, uh, and why do I feel like I'm just ignoring someone? But yeah, they were like the big standouts. It's a shame about Hazar because oh. I think this would have been the clip she had before her bail was so good. Yeah, this would have been like the best I feel like I've ever seen as well. Yeah, she looks- Because it looked like she was- Next fucking level yeah, in those couple really, of clubs. Really fucking really sick. Really going for it. Um, yeah. Thoughts on Justin Louis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I do love Justin. I, it's so funny, I, I've said this before to you that um, the way he is in real life, it just does not match his movement. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe it does because he's so fucking chill but he's just Def such a chill guy and he is when you actually talk to him I'm like oh you are actually like very with it but the stuff you do is just so fucking outrageous mm. like you you're just sending the Vloggy did, Vloggy did a big inhale as if he was about to comment like we, really we should have him on the podcast and great. explain what, <laughs> why well, no you need to listen to the story one because he goes into depth does he? Uh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My only thought what is was his depth. You about to make that comparison, Giles? I was gonna, say. I was gonna touch on it. It's a hard one to make the comparison without making it sound like you're making a horrible comparison. Mm. Yeah. But so, um, he on the Star Wars podcast with Callum. So it's it's they go quite in depth, and the so on the Origins podcast they talk about this. We're basically the third to the fucking plate mm. with this topic, but. The orange ones that they talk about this before the star one came out and they critique it and they say like it's sort of if they're all like every single one is a fail apart from there's one splat that you could claim is somewhat not a fail but it's he kind of lands in a heap at the bottom uh and then obviously you look at australia and most of them are attempts and i had my own critiques of the australian one because 
all the biggest moments in the trailer were those arm jumps that I saw and was like, holy shit, if these are successful. I, I didn't have doubts that they weren't gonna be successful. Yeah, no, neither I thought, oh my God, the bar's gonna get raised. And then I was like, oh. So that, I found that annoying in the Australian yeah, one. Just to pause you there, maybe that's one of the, I'd say the biggest thing out of the capstone projects in general. I can't really remember if there was any in England, but it's just that it would be cool to see more successes. And then the ones that are bales, I'd personally not put in the main project. Or put them and, in, and but release, like, maybe not thing. celebrate? Yeah, like, do you, we, we watched that. Um, it's, I, oh, what, are you gonna say about the film festival thing? We watched what? that, one of the entrance to the film festival, which has gone on, uh, yeah. but a lot of people have been sharing it on YouTube. And there's like arm jump attempts in that. Not that guy who's like battling the arm jump, but there's that like, was it a running splat or something? It's like a running splat that oh, looks yeah. nearly arm jumpable. And he kind of gets bodied a little bit and then kinda celebrates. Lands and falls onto his back, I think. And but we were like, oh, that's Capstone influence. Then, yeah, then celebrates and then that's the clip. Mm. So that's just, I'm wary of inspir inspiring a... Uh, a generation of people yeah. who just, just kind of send, because it is... It's a movement trend that might not be able to last very long. Well, so the argument- Oh shit, I forgot about banging the mic. Uh, I forgot about, um, <laughs> what's his face? Fucking Kadori. Oh yeah, but I mean, he's just fucking built like a brick I know, shit house. That's what I mean. Like, like He's just, he can do ev everything that he does. There's kind of, to be fair, can support I think it, maybe I one like. of the reasons I forgot his is because there wasn't anything in there that he doesn't already post on Instagram. Yeah, okay. Yeah. He is just, he just takes it to that level kind of all the time. Mm. So like. What were you saying there? Cause I well, just okay. cut you off fucking a million times. So they kind of critiqued it on the Origins podcast. A lot of people commented like, oh, you need to listen to the Star Wars one. Mm. They summed it up and I listened to that. And the argument's kind of like, well, if I can make it, then that means it's within my limits. Therefore I like to push the limits bigger than that. I could be completely fluffing this. Just quite, a, they talk about it for quite a while kind of like oh parkour was in this whole like you know it doesn't count if it's three times but we're, we don't we're not so fussed about that like once is enough mm. uh and also like the the real achievement is breaking the mental barrier to send it not necessarily completing it mm. which i'm like well so a thing that popped into my head and i need to make sure that people don't think i'm making a direct comparison here uh but Think about the amount of people who have sent the big scary IMAX one Kong Prix and fucking got wrecked, like broken heels, etc. Mm. Then think about someone like Sketchy Andy, who, if you remove the fact that we know that he's a pretty wacky guy and like when you see him at Jam, he's doing all manner of sort of crazy stuff and, and quite often like, you know, landing on his shins and things. But in the past, he has sent some huge attempts. There is a very famous clip where he tries to do a giant roof gap and I think like two or three times in a row lands on his fucking ribs. Like he tries to crane it. People, you've seen, you, yeah. yeah it's, at, it's fucked, yeah. yeah. If he did that and then gave that same excuse, not, not saying it's an excuse, but same validation of like, oh, it's the, the real challenge is getting over the mental barriers. He would be attacked, he'd be scathed. Mm. I'm not saying we need to attack Justin Louis at all. I'm not saying anything like that. And I'm not saying Justin Louis is sketchy like Andy. I'm just saying like, there is a huge amount of truth in breaking the mental barrier because once you get over that, you know, you're trying something, you get over that mental barrier, maybe you don't make it, maybe you land badly, but still surely there is an end goal that you haven't reached. Mm. Like we've all done it however many times training where you're like, oh, this is scary. Okay, fuck, I bounced that Kong Prix. Oh. Yeah. Like, yes, I'm over that, but now I want this. But it's kind of like going, ah, oh, I've got, I've, oh, I'm over that. That was enough. Yeah. I'm going to ignore the thing that I was clearly going for. Yeah. And if, especially when they put it in the trailer and it's like, oh shit, look at this giant arm drum. And it's, it's, it's like the Australian one, one. one part of the parkour little puzzle thing. You're like selling the audience that this is the challenge and then going, oh no, it's fine. I just did that bit. Yeah. So like, I find it a bit confusing and, but I'm not, I, I just need to make sure that I'm not saying that fucking Justin Louis is some reckless sketchy dickhead. Oh, I was about to say like Andy. <laughs> I'm leaving it in. I'm not saying he's a sketchy dickhead. I mean, he's, yeah, whatever. No, I, I haven't listened to the star one to be fair, but I'd like to know his, I just, I, I find he about it and what he wants to say. And I just, I, I'd love to see him complete some of those things. I'd love to see if, if those big ones mm. existed alongside some completions. The thing, the stuff that he's sending, imagine the stuff he could actually 
even if yeah 10 percent less yeah it would i know still be, be still huge be sick, yeah but it's only the stuff that and i just yeah yeah I find it interesting. There's the other topic as well of when they put that like extras up before this one came in and he's smoking in it, which there's that shot of him like lighting a cigarette, doing a jump and then like, Phew. Oh yeah. And I do find the like, oh, we've said it before so many times, having like, you know, glorifying vices in videos, whether that's drinking a can of fucking beer and then doing a jump or whatever. Yeah. I just smoking find it. Or something like that. Yeah, I just find it strange. It's um, not cool. But ultimately, incredibly progressive thing also the clothing looks like it did fucking well um mm. which is sick lots of like progressive designs i really like the video they did with their like printing press thing in australia where they obviously had somebody go in and film it i don't know i've seen that it was just on instagram oh you didn't have a phone for a while no. they just uh i mean they were in the uk so i guess they got one of their mates to go and like make a video mm. but and they got their screen printer to do like 10 unique shirts so he just like printed I can't remember what they were called, but he just printed a load of like the capstone designs kind of like sporadically over five, uh, 10 white t-shirts oh, wow. and then sold them as like a limited piece, which is really cool. That's sick. Um, but yeah, I'm kind of keen to see what happens next with yeah, that. It's always such a fucking The thing that I'm a bit- excitement <laughs> though, when, um, when a capstone video gets released or you know it's coming. Yeah, the so, thing- um, that on the on the story one they were sort of saying they don't want to go into what Capstone's about and they don't want to like and I'm like is that what why like is that just because you want to keep it mysterious I'm not sure but um it's the obviously it's Phil Justin and Sam but then obviously Sam, uh, Toby and Sasha kind of seem to now be like very connected to it, it with regards to my filmmaking thing I'm like if because yeah, there's obviously rumors of an American one and things and it's like well what's the What's the unit, if you know what I mean? Mm. Who are the who are the like the key key components of that? And I'd be like, excited to see that because it would be the first time I think that <laughs> unless they flew over there, which I don't think they are. Yeah, that it would be completely in someone else's hands. Yeah, mm. and I know I. Well, I I don't want to. I, I, I think I know what. Yeah, we can't yeah, say that. No, we can't say anything. Um, okay. Yeah, we don't know anything. <laughs> Uh, yeah, but I'd be I'd be excited to see what that. But definitely, we need to see to more projects like mm. that. I I just speaking of the film festival, actually, I uh, I actually just emailed all the contestants last night, and if anyone's listening to this and hasn't checked their email, I kind of thought we not. I say we. I'd fucked it in the sense that I'd I've had this idea to only have one category and have it like 15 to 30 minutes because i was like cool let's push people to make like really long progressive pieces and for the first the the submissions was open for like three months so from like i think end of september to now or something like that start september movie for the first two months and like you know 99 percent of the time the submissions were open we had a handful and i was like fuck we made the barrier to entry too high no one wanted to submit this thing's pointless like a kind of just a just and I, I started losing a bit of faith and it didn't put that much pressure on like, you know, posting things and trying to remind people. Literally on the last day, we just had like a crazy amount of incredible submissions come in, which is cool that people left it until the last minute. They're obviously polishing the stuff and like things like this. Um, but I, I actually just emailed everyone and was like, I'm so sorry that I didn't put more emphasis on the film festival while you guys were working on it. Like I kind of just, because obviously we've had a lot going on and stuff like that. Um, but the judging is now about to, to start moving and taking place. And I'm really excited to like get that thing sort of to completion and get everyone their, their prizes and things like that. Uh, but I'm, yeah, sort of, it was weird. I just fully thought like it, it was a dead festival when like no one had really submitted and then it just went boom. Like that. So, which I guess is just what to expect. Mm. But yeah. Um, what do we want to talk about guys? Uh, nothing. Nothing. Have a moment of silence. Um, no, I, I want, to talk about Lorena's, oh, I don't know where I was. Oh, the gym. Uh, yeah. Kiss, kiss Kia? Kiss, kiss, is that what it's called? Let me be that tech guy and find you're the, out. You're yeah. Jamie on the Joe Rogan podcast. Uh, oh God. Kiss uh, Kia Athletics or something like that. I mean, for me, I just- Definitely not spelling that right. Um, yeah, mate, have you seen the shit they've teased? Maybe. They've teased some of it and then Mark's put a photo that I think he got sent. So oh, it, I've seen I've seen what Vox We are talking about um Lorena Abru, I think that's the way you pronounce her surname. 
uh, and her family have basically been building what looks like a super facility in super yeah there's facility. Vauxhall yeah in in Texas where they live it, it is like a multi multifunctional gym but like even the parkour setup is potentially the biggest parkour gym in the world I don't I don't know the stats um, which will be actually used compared to say BGI yeah hopefully they got marks to send the plans they actually paid marks he went to IMAX uh, Vauxhall as it was being torn down and paid marks a bit to like send him the plans <coughs> Uh, and they have built voxel almost completely exactly like they've had to modify a couple of things because of some of the voxel walls with like freestanding and concrete and stuff like this they've built um that set spot in singapore that's been you know the the, the oh we watched shit. The, the yeah they've built that one really show me you can see it in the corner of the box oh damn um, the so, one from Lion City Gavin. Yes, they've yes. obviously gone what, through and they're getting shit. Bidoc Maze. Bidoc Maze, I think. Something like that, yeah. Bass. And they've even got moss like fake on the floor. That's yeah, the so paint cool. job is like, because painting gyms is always really hit and miss because yeah. it can look too cheesy. I think yeah. this is quite fun. Kiss, K-I-S-K-E-Y-A. Kiss Kaya. Kiss Kaya. But it's, yeah, Kiss Kaya and Athletics. Yeah. Look how massive that is. And there's, there's, yeah, so they've been, but it's opening soon, basically. They're currently hiring. Uh, I'm sure a lot of people are aware of it, mm -hmm. but if you go on their Instagram and like the parkour section is just a portion of the entire building. Yes. They have, you know, gyms and tennis courts and squash courts and sprung floor and everything. And it's just, it looks fucking amazing. Oh, so you fly us out, please. We'll, you know, we'll, we'll set up some mics and sit in the corner and commentate on people bailing. Make some fucking good videos, all right? Yeah. Uh, but yeah, wicked. More of that, please. Yeah. more of that is there I, any other gyms be, like in uh progress of being mate my instagram made. explore page is mental the stuff that i get shown I thought there's a guy it. mushing his for his head into like so i get sucked into the reels <laughs> yeah uh um i've lost my notes help i'm blind well, we, we kind of made our made our way down i just can't remember if there's anything off the top of our head that we're like oh yeah we should well i mean to you guys uh, I mean, we we can't we can't say anything about trying to get back into regular podcasts because we, we we've can. always said that we can, but we can then just fuck it. It keeps people on their toes because one day we might be accurate because uh, <laughs> they're like, oh yeah, there they are like, again. What was our longest stint this year? Huh? I, this year, I do not know. But did we have a consistent few months? Maybe <laughs> we had a period where we had lots of guests coming in and we were doing the ten questions. Summers are like good. That. For that. Summers are good. Also, having this setup actually stay set up is also quite useful yeah, we need yeah. a drape cloth we need a drape cloth to cover this so you guys don't eat your breakfast on it and we need the cameras not to get we stolen need a, we need some sort of eating we bit. must have a breakfast bar yeah the guys want me to buy a breakfast bar we'll buy it this is the reason that I'll you can't it. have nice things guys make them. I'm, a, I'm a handyman <laughs> bloggy is a handyman with a broken hand did you say that's maybe good. do it every two weeks that was what we were talking about yesterday yeah well, that's funny you should say that that's so Anyway, <laughs> <laughs> how convenient. Yeah. How convenient. Um, I was just going to say thank you for all the Black Friday sales. I'm still packing the orders. Um, that's why I got my big thick shoes on because I have to stand up all day. Mm. It hurts my soul. But uh, yeah, I mean, orders going out to everywhere. Taiwan, we had a few from Taiwan, like all over the world. Yeah, so very, really, very cool. like really, really appreciate it. Yeah. Massively. Anyone who's picked up anything. Also, someone in my literal hometown who lives three minutes away bought something and I have no idea who they are mm -hmm. which is I, I was like do I write a note and be they like ordered stuff before as well haven't they yeah mm. I'm like hello friend <laughs> question mark GDPR yeah it's like you don't want to you don't want to do that but mm. go and hand deliver it to their door I feel like I was walking the dog <laughs> yeah literally because <laughs> I literally do walk past where they live with my dog so That's I wonder so if they know it's you I, this is what I don't I don't know who they are <laughs> It could, you, it could be my mum ordering to like her friend's house just to support, as you suggested. Mm. Like, uh, just, really? oh, you know, I'll be nice. No, I don't think it is. I don't <laughs> think my mum has a friend who lives down there. But mm. yeah. Mad. yeah. What, how much time are we on? We're on 59. Oh, that's solid. Yeah, yeah that is solid. 12 seconds, 13, 14. It's 12 o'clock. How is it? Is it? I know. Mate, I need to get this sample. Oh We've God. got stuff to do. We've got so much to People do. People must be wondering what the fuck we do. We just sit on that sofa over there, which is... Out people front. can't see it Play anyway. Skate, although. 
We just play Xbox all we day. We watch videos then, about sex dolls. Yeah. Uh, I mean, we need to add some context to that one. <laughs> well, I mean, what's the context? We watched Wait, a video on sex dolls. How did that come about? Was it because I was looking at mannequins for making clothes? Like mm. the ones you put pins in and then- Then you found like sex doll. Yeah, on eBay, you looked at mannequins and then it there was a sex doll and then we went down a rabbit hole. And then we were like, that's yeah. so weird. And then we watched a documentary. Well, we people. were like, who are the type of people who use these? So we looked at a documentary of people who yeah, are like it got, in love with their dolls yeah, and, and it is freaky as fuck. It got weird. The, I didn't even know they had the AI ones now. Oh, no. They were like, would you believe me if I could feel you? Oh, if I was, said, if I true. said I could feel you, and then it was like, if you want, you can swap my face out, and then it's just like <laughs> this, like fleshy. It's so just ugh. creepy, creepy. Send so them gross. off for repairs. Yeah. So but no, gross. that's not what we're doing all the time. No, Boggy's still working on stuff. Keelan's There's, working on yeah. a fucking cinema cinematic movie. There, there will hopefully be like an episodic thing that keeps coming out don't say that because now you've got the pressure of it being episodic well i've enjoyed it so far and you'll know if it comes out and nothing else happens he hated it. Yeah. <laughs> hated it yeah but i've i've liked it so far pushing it over the final like part like like it. well. it's been really nice you what sorry i like what i've seen of it yeah, yeah. like it is just showing everything that happens in here in a way that i like to capture it and oh and the reason we're doing this is not because we like doing the podcast it's because we don't have a training video we didn't have a training video for sunday because we yeah. were we're trying to do weekly content we really are trying and we've do meet it's been going well and then but we know we're not gonna have one out this sunday because but winter's fucking hard for it though it really is weather shit we're busy bloggy's going to belgium it's just it's we know it's not gonna happen we're, so what we're gonna try and do is take a week off or an extra week mm -hmm. off and get a couple backlogged and yeah. then get it back to normal so yeah mm -hmm. and maybe if bring back 10 questions at some point as well. Yeah, we want to do that, the justice it deserves rather than rushing them out. Me and Keenan were talking about it yesterday. Mm. So I think- Do you know what, if anyone's made it this far, maybe just, I don't know where the fuck you'd send it, but if anyone could be bothered to put a list together of people they want to see on 10 questions. Yeah. Because I always, I think I'm like, fuck, we've done everyone. Oh, we've touched, we, we barely touched the surface. Yeah. yeah. But like, we've just done a lot of good people. Yeah. So far. We've only had one of the stories and that was our best one. Yeah. What we should do is have once a month, have a star. Just bring on, a star in. Get 100,000 views. Get our views up a little bit. Get a little bit of YouTube money, and then we can actually eat some food. Yeah. So. Tins of beans for days. Yeah. Uh, shout out to my dog who has sat in silence for this entire episode right there. What a fucking joy. Should you now like reward him for that? Darwin, I that won't put you down. Not, <laughs> not until you are begging for it. Oh my God. God, it'd be so sad if he could actually understand me. I know. The amount of times I, I threaten him with- I you being serious. Like, yeah. You're gonna take away your dog. So I'll send you back to the, the, the pound. The pound. All right, let's fucking wrap this yeah. up. Yeah. Um, I need a shit. Absolutely no promises. You're ever gonna get another one of these. <laughs> it might happen. Yeah. Uh, yeah. happen when it happens, yeah. consistency. Love you. It's that, subscribe, comment, give us a fucking review on iTunes because it helps apparently. I'm sure it doesn't help that we don't upload, but reviews, comments, subscribe, super thanks on YouTube. I don't think we have that. Um, Patreon doesn't exist anymore. <laughs> Join our Discord. It uh, looks so bad from the outside. Buy some clothes. Cheers. Yeah. Cool. Love you. Bye. Bye.